So let's take a second look at the BYD SEAL autopilot meaning the intelligent cruise control and the lane keeping assist. I had a previous video on this but uh, hopefully here I can a little bit better show the functionality and also I've set the camera so that you can fully see the steering wheel um, and hopefully also hear the audio signals. So to activate the autopilot in BYD SEAL, you can press this one button on the left side of the steering wheel that has this um, steering wheel icon on it. And when I press it now once, it activates both the intelligent cruise control and then the lane keeping assist. And now we have both systems activated. So I'm not touching the pedals, I'm not touching the steering wheel and the car is driving itself. now slowing down as the traffic in front of us is uh, also slowing down and then occasionally it, it asks you to touch the steering wheel and uh, making sure that the driver is alert Now coming onto this tunnel, the system stays active nicely, no issues whatsoever. And now let's do lane change. And it took like, uh, you know, second or two seconds to re-enable the lane keeping assist. Okay, a little bit uh, sharper curve here. Yeah, doing nicely. And then let's continue. And again switching lanes. And we're back. So when, when switching the lanes, it temporarily disables the lane keeping assist when you are moving between the lanes, of course. But then it seems to re-enable itself in just one second or two seconds. And also one thing that you can do is um, just uh, rest your hand here. Now all the steering wheel movement is uh, done by the car. I'm not applying any force to the steering wheel. I'm just kind of uh, resting my hand. My hand is kind of hanging here from the steering wheel. and um, So that is enough for the system to know that I am alert and um, I'm ready to take control if needed but I'm not doing anything 
I'm just keeping my hand there, applying a bit of torque so that it knows that I'm holding it. And I have to say that in long distance travel this feature is really good. It makes the driving more relaxed and more easy. Of course you need to always be alert and ready to take control um, in the case it would you know disable itself due to lane markings being poorly visible or anything like that. It's of course important to highlight that that the system is, is not to be trusted fully. It is always driver's responsibility. But when you know how to use it, it is great feature. I've, I've liked it with BYD Seal. The lane keeping assist is uh, really kind of meant to be used on a highway or ring roads or larger roads like that. Uh, then when you are in a kind of a city area, 50 area, it's not that usable. Okay, so there, there the lane keeping assist uh, disabled itself and there was no warning, no audio signal. Uh, I can see in the head-up display that the icon was yeah and also there you saw that it didn't uh, handle that curve very well. So I see in the head-up display that the lane keeping assist is enabled when it's green and when it's white it's disabled and um, so it disabled itself there in the uh, previous exit. So of course you have to know the limits of the system when you are using it and the limits come from when the lane markings are poorly visible or when you go into exit or some intersection and then definitely uh, I wouldn't use the autopilot on city area, urban area. It is not meant to be used there of course, you know, uh, roundabouts or anything like that. It cannot handle yet. But the main benefit from this feature definitely comes from um, long, in long distance travel. So of course there is always room for improvement and maybe there will be some software updates that will fine tune the system. But uh, already now it's, it's, um, it's very usable. And if you don't touch the steering wheel for a while after it has, it has started to beep, then it will beep more frequently for a couple of seconds. And after that it will just disable itself. So uh, we can see it here. Now I'm not touching the steering wheel and then it, yeah, and now it's off. So um, that's what happened. So um, when the free, more frequent beeping starts, it will disable itself. Now we are approaching this uh, kind of a gentle curve here. Also one car coming in front of us. and. Uh, we are consistently staying in the middle of the lane. It is not kind of going to one uh, side to another side and then back like this ping pong, like some other, other cars do. The seal keeps it center of the lane. 
So here, if you can see in the camera from the infotainment, you see that the car is also positioned pretty much in the center of the lane. And everything is working nicely. So this is the BYD seal driving itself. And here we have some area where the lane markings are not that visible. And now it disabled itself. And still it's off. Hasn't found the lane yet. Now it found the lane. I needed to steer a little bit uh, more towards the center of the lane for it to find the, the markings on both sides. But um, yeah, you have to remember that it doesn't really warn you when it's when it goes off. I think it's that's that's a little weird thing when you think about this car has quite a lot of these audio signals and, and warnings and beepings. Of course, which you can also disable, but uh, but I would assume that that would be one case that it would be, but just at least once that the lane keeping assist has been turned off. It doesn't really bother me. I know how the system works, but that would just be my expectation how the car would work, as it has a lot of these kind of safety-related warnings in in other areas. All right, let's exit. I have the lane keeping assist still on. But now it turned itself off, now it's on again. And of course, this kind of situation, don't use the lane keeping assist. <laughs> Just do it manually. Always remember safety first. And now we are in uh, 50 zone. Let's put on the intelligent cruise control and lane keeping assist, but the lane keeping assist disabled itself. It didn't find the lane. Let's see if now it found it. But no, now it found it again. But it's going uh, very much on the left side. Now the LKA is on again but it's not really functioning too well in these conditions. So I wouldn't use the autopilot on a road like this, even though it occasionally does okay. Yeah. Now with the oncoming traffic, I won't, I won't, I won't try the limits of that system. Okay, let's see this uh, gentle curve here. What does it do? We don't have oncoming traffic now. Okay. Pretty decent, but it's going more towards you know one side to another than on larger roads. Here, yeah, yeah, just about, but a little bit close to the edge there. And uh, yeah, now I'm turning the system off. So this is the end of our um, autopilot test. Hopefully this was useful for you. And uh, please let me know in the comments if you like this test and what you would like to see tested next with BYD Seal. So thanks for watching and uh, see you in the next video.